Hello. Hi, Hi, good evening. Hi, how are you today? How are you? I'm fine, thank you. How about you? I'm doing great. Happy that we are able to be here in this section and hoping to finish it successfully. <laughs> uh, yeah, because <laughs> okay. I heard that, that the weather is going to be bad this two days, right? Right. The news about the weather are kind of sad. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but let's pray to have a good um, week. Uh, teacher, teacher, excuse me, what is your name? My name is Flor. Flor Guerrero, right? Yes, yes, that's correct. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, you you will probably receiving um the survey, the encuesta, right? Oh, okay. Yeah. So remember that uh, I reported the problem that you uh, told me that some of you have completed the platform, and it is showing like just like percent completed. And uh, yeah, I, I think that I sent you an audio. Les mandé un audio porque estaba como medio trabajo. Entonces, sí, reporté el problema del compañero. Creo que no se ha unido todavía. Y muchos lo tienen, el mismo problema, ¿verdad? Que aunque ya completaron un por ciento, solo les muestra un 60. Y sí, las capturas que me mandó me ayudaron mucho porque fue como me dijeron, sí, pero le falta el examen final. Entonces, ya les expliqué que ya lo había hecho. Y les mostré las capturas de donde le salían sección 1 completa, 2, 3, 4 y el final exam con el chequecito verde. Y le dije, ya las completó, pero por alguna razón, like a glitch in the platform, it is showing like just the 60%. So they are aware of that. Um, ya good ellos... evening. Hi, good evening. Ya ellos good están teacher. sabedores de que muchos de ustedes ya completaron... Eh, lo requerido, pero por, por este error de la plataforma no les está mostrando. Entonces, ustedes siempre completen los papeles como normal. Eh, ustedes saben quiénes son los que ya avanzaron más del 80%, quiénes son los que ya terminaron la plataforma. Siempre llenen los papeles eh, para que se les pueda reservar el cupo para el siguiente módulo. Y sí, siempre invitarlo, ¿verdad? Que completen la plataforma mínimo, mínimo debería de estar hasta el, el midterm exam completado. Sí, lo mejor es que vayan y se adelanten. Van a tener bastante tiempo para hacerlo. Eh, esta semana terminamos el jueves, si el clima y Dios lo permiten, ¿verdad? Porque sí, right. las noticias del clima están un poco desalentadoras. Pero sí, llegaríamos yeah. hasta el jueves y, y luego pues habría la vacación de agosto y nos estaríamos viendo de nuevo hasta el lunes 9 de agosto. Así es que aprovechen oh, a, completar, yes, a completar la plataforma. Sí, vamos a tener vacaciones. No se les vaya yeah. a acostumbrar el cuerpo a las vacaciones. Ya bastante descansaron, ¿verdad? Así que los veré el jueves. Y traten de planificar y completar la plataforma. ¿Sí, Reina? Fíjese que yo no, no puedo imprimir las, el, el formulario. No, el, el, el link que me mandaron desde el viernes, jueves o viernes, este, me dice que yo no tengo permiso de imprimir. Y ya le escribí al, al WhatsApp, pero no me han solucionado. Escríbale directamente a mi Selena y mándele, las capturas de pantalla son bien útiles, como les decía, ¿verdad? Para que vean que sí es, eh, eh, y tengan mejor, un, un mejor idea de qué es lo que está pasando, porque como les digo, lo que me mandaron ayer me sirvió mucho, porque le mandé la captura del progreso de las barritas rojas, pero me decían, no, pero ahí dice que falta el examen, pero le dije, no, porque cuando uno está en la pantalla principal, todo le sale en chequecito verde, pero esa barra no, no le muestra el examen. Ah, ok, entonces ya reportaron y van a resolver eso 
a la brevedad posible. Los que ya descargaron el certificado, Walter, usted ya lo tiene, ¿verdad? Me dijo. Got it. Yes. Y la fecha está bien. Uh -huh. Porque algunos compañeros reportaron que en los grupos de ellos les muestra como que es del 2019 el certificado. Entonces le han... Oh, yes, 2019. Entonces okay. repórtelo, right. porque sí es okay. un glitch que hay por ahí. También lo van a solucionar eso. Hay que estar pendientes. Take a picture. Sí, sí, es, okay. es, es, ajá, pero repórtelo. Repórtelo okay. para que también se le vuelva a generar su certificado. Ok. Eso es lo que nos dijeron ahora que reporté lo, lo de lo que habíamos quedado ayer y escuché que unos compañeros de maestros reportaron que sus estudiantes que ya imprimieron el certificado les había salido con la fecha del 2019. Por eso les decía eh, okay. pendientes y, y de que se lo vuelvan a, a, a generar. Y esos eran los anuncios para ahora. So, how was your day? Fantastic, teacher. Everything okay up to now. Okay, awesome. Yeah. All right, good. Good to hear that. So I think that we're going to be like moving on and finishing this topic that we are almost finishing, right? And uh, yesterday we were discussing about the how to use um and this um this which is called um well the so to neither and either and we were saying that we can use for when we are replying to a positive statement and we want to show agreement we can use so or two it will depend right so if it is at the beginning and two at the end we are going to also use either can be the simple present auxiliary like do or does, or that can be a form of the verb to be, um, is are, or the auxiliary can. We also say that for negative ones, we are going to use neither or either. If we are going to use neither, we don't have to use any other kind of negative auxiliary because this one is already negative and it's going to go at the beginning of the sentence. And then if we use either, it's going to be placed at the end and we will need a negative auxiliary or verb in the case of B, right? Like don't, I'm not, or can't, right? With this information, uh, we are going to complete these conversations. We are going to take a look at this and complete using the words and the expressions that we have in this box. Let's see, we have am, can, do, neither, so, to, will, would, um, like it a lot, can't stand them, Favorite kind of food, you know what? Can't stand them. In this one, like for example, if I said, I have a really, really noisy neighbors, I can't stand them. What would be that in Spanish? No los aguanto. That is correct. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> no lo soporto. <laughs> y soportar, yes. Yes, especially on weekends. But anyways, <laughs> good that they have fun. Um, so with these expressions, if you see here, neither, it's already used. So we're not going to use that one because it's been used here. So let us take a look to the conversation. And it says, Sherry, um, well, she said, I feel tired tonight. I really don't want to cook. Neither do I, right? Because it's a negative. Yeah. So we are replying in a negative way, showing agreement. Neither do I. Say, do you like Thai food? It's delicious. So what you can do is to write the answers in your notebook 
and then we are going to see if we place them in the correct um, place. <laughs> so I'll give you a couple of minutes for you to read, analyze, and select which one would be in which space. You can do it in your notebook, and then we're going to share uh, your answers. If you have any question about vocabulary, I am here for you. Pero me voy a mutear por mi ventilador, no sé si lo oí. No, teacher. Ok, yo lo digo como que industrial <laughs> aquel gran ruido. <laughs> But it's good to know that you don't hear that. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> Are you done with this exercise? You finished? No yet, teacher. No yet? Yeah. Okay, give me one more minute.
<clears throat> Ready to check your answers? Yeah, teacher, but I think I, yeah. Mm. Yes. Okay. Um, okay, so as you see here, um, well, it's this, it's delicious. I like it a lot, but I think it's not complete, right? Mm -hmm. uh, ah, because yes, the first part is the one that it's already done. I feel tired tonight. I really don't want to cook. Neither do I. Say, do you like Thai food? It's delicious. delicious. I, I like, like it, it a lot. I like it a lot. I do too. It's my favorite kind of food. Yeah. Let's call Chan Mei restaurant for home delivery. Great idea. Their food is always good. I eat there a lot. So do I. Well, what would you like tonight? I'm in the mood for some soup. So am I. And I think I will have spicy chicken and a special Thai rice. Okay, let's order. Oh, wait a minute. I don't have any money with me. Neither do I. What should we do? Well, let's look in the refrigerator. Hmm. Do you like boiled eggs? I can't stand them. Actually, neither can I. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Questions, vocabulary? Well, egg sounds a uh, food hospital. <laughs> mm, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but uh, it's healthy. And yeah. you know that people can like, have like uh, the eggs diet and they, they eat yeah. like 15 eggs a day, <laughs> like 15 uh, boiled eggs a yes. day. I don't For know week. how can I do that. Every week. <laughs> wow. I don't know mm -hmm. how can people can do that. All right. Any question about this? No questions? Good example, teacher. For apply this this rule about neither either so yeah okay was it easy or do you feel it's difficult not difficult but no Both. easy <laughs> so so average <laughs> okay that was so so good yeah 
Okay, let's go ahead and practice pronunciation. I feel tired tonight. I really don't want to cook. I feel tired, I feel tired, tired tonight. tonight. I, I really don't, don't want to cook. Want to cook. Neither do I. Say, do you like Thai food? Neither do I. Say, do you like that? It's delicious. I like it a lot. It's delicious. I like it a lot. I do too. It's my favorite kind of food. Let's call Chiang Mai restaurant for home delivery. I do too. I it's do. my favorite it's kind of food. It's called Chiang Mai restaurant, home restaurant for home delivery. For home delivery. Great idea. Their food is always good. I eat there a lot. Great idea. Great idea. Their Great food idea. is always good. I eat there a lot. I eat there a lot. So do I. Well, what would you like tonight? So, so do I. I. Well, what would you like tonight? I'm in the mood for some soup. I'm in the mood for some soup. So am I, and I think I'll have a spicy chicken and a special Thai rice. So, so am I. I, I, I don't think so. I will have a spicy chicken and a special Thai rice. Okay, let's order. Oh, wait a minute. I don't have any money with me. Okay, let's oh, order. Oh, wait a minute. I don't have any money with me. Any money with me? Neither do I. What should we do? Neither do I. What should we do? Should we do? Well, let's look in the refrigerator. Hmm. Well, well let's look, look in the refrigerator. Do you like boiled eggs? Do you like boiled eggs? I can't stand them. I can't, I can't stand, stand them. them. Actually, neither can I. Actually, neither can I. Neither can I. Oh, okay. o sea que I can't stand them. Puedo utilizarlo para decir cualquier cosa que no, 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 o sea, persona, animal o no, cosa. No, no, no lo paso, no lo soporto. Ah, ok. Es como no, no lo paso, okay. no lo soporto, no lo aguanto. Okay. En este caso sería como que no, no paso ese, ese, esa comida, right? Ok. Uh -huh. I can stand uh, drink alcohol, alcohol, which is correct. Uh -huh. Yeah, um. I can't stand, but if after stand you use um, another verb, that should be with ing. I ah, can't stand drinking, drinking alcoholic alcohol. drink. Ah, okay. Or you okay. can say, uh, I can't stand alcohol or alcoholic drinks. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Sí, como stand es como un verbo. Entonces, si va a poner otro verbo, tiene que ir con ing. Usar un noun después de stand. Puede usar un noun, como por ejemplo bebidas alcohólicas. Si quiere decir no, no soporto, no paso las bebidas alcohólicas. Es, bebidas alcohólicas sería el noun. I can't uh, stand alcoholic drinks. For example, teacher, uh, I can stand my wife when talking or oh, when scolding me. For example. Mm -hmm. Yes. Ah, ok. Excelente okay, example. Ok. okay, okay. <laughs> okay. It just do like you have fish ears. <laughs> <laughs> it's a joke, teacher. It's a joke. No, it's no, it's really. <laughs> it, it was it was just a good example, but yeah. it's, <laughs> it's a joke. <laughs> okay, now we have some vocabulary here that is good to know. It's related to food. Let's practice healthy. 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 Spicy. 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 Bland. Bland. Greasy. 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 Rich. 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 Delicious. 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 Any of this that is not really clear for you? What is the meaning of rich? Rich is como rico, algo rico. Rich, 
En, en cuanto a sabor, delicioso, rico, that is rich. It's a synonym. Similar, a synonym uh, of delicious. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what is the meaning to ha healthy? Uh, healthy is uh, saludable. Oh. Uh -huh. A salad mm -hmm. is a healthy food. Salad, fruit, and all that can be good for your health is healthy, saludable. Okay. Salty, teacher. Salty. It's salty as salado. Ah, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. salty. 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 Spicy. All right. Any other question? Greasy is grasoso. Grasoso. Yes. Comida grasosa o grasienta. Greasy. Grasienta. Okay. Teacher, uh, bland, me, is, teacher. bland is soft. Bland? It's like soft. Uh -huh, it's a synonym oh, okay. of synonym. soft. 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 Okay. soft. Yeah, it refers to yeah the texture maybe. Okay, is there any other question? Teacher. Yes. It's PC. Spicy. So picante. Spicy, yes, huh? picante. Uh, spicy. Spicy. Sure, they are uh, adjectives. Yes, they are adjectives. Mm -hmm. Okay. They are adjectives that we are using in this case to describe food. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now let's write responses. So in this case, you will have to write the responses to show agreement with this statement. And then we're going to compare with the partners. Um, for example, the first one, it says, I'm not crazy about French food. We need to show agreement here. I'm not crazy about French food. How, how would you show agreement in this one? I am not agree. That Neither am I. Yeah. yeah. Neither am I. Uh huh. Neither am I. Okay. So I'll give you time for you to discuss. You can go ahead and recheck this again if it is necessary in order to respond, uh, showing agreement in these 10 sentences. Oh. And uh, to make it easier for you and like more entertained, uh, we're going to do it in group. We're going to solve this exercise and discuss the answers in group. Share your knowledge with your classmates, okay? Okay. I'm going to create this section. So we're going to develop this in groups. Let's see. Yeah, this one is okay.
something here. So.
Were you able to finish the exercise? Did you finish? Yes, yes. teacher. Great. So the number one, we said, I'm not crazy about French food. What are the two possible answers there? Neither am I. Neither am I, or? So can I. I'm not either. I'm not either. Excellent. Now, let's see number two. Um, Ricardo, I can eat any kind of food. I can too. Okay, I can too. Excellent. Another possibility? So? So can I. Excellent. Now, Ricardo, select someone else and ask the number three. I chose Rina. Sorry, I am muted. <laughs> I think Mexican food is delicious. Reina? Reina? Yes, teacher. Yeah. Excuse me. Reina, I think Mexican food is delicious. I can either. Mm, that is positive. Number four. Number three. Number, Number three. I do two. I do too. Very good. Um, now, Reina, number four, read it and ask somebody else. Ricardo, number four, I can't stand greasy food. Que venga tiba, Ricardo ya pasó. <laughs> Someone else, Reina. <laughs> it's a revenge, teacher. <laughs> no, escoja otro, eso no se permite. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. okay. Uh, number number four. I can sing with four. Neither can I. Okay. Good, Jose. Now, Jose, read number five for someone else. Um, no me puedo los nombres de los demás. Ah, uh, en participantes. Ponga clic ahí y ahí va a ver los nombres. Eh, eh, pues si no, okay, tenemos okay. ahí a Dalia, Walter, Ibis, Tito, Ana. Uh, ok, Ana. Number six. Five. Read it, please. Five response. Yes. I don't like salty food. Uh, neither do I. Neither do I. Good, Anna. Read the number five, number six, sorry, and select someone else. Okay, I in the mood for something spicy. Walter? Okay. Um, so do I, or I am too? I am too. Uh huh, because it's with the verb B. I am too, or? Oh. So do I. Mm. So no, am I. no, so, so am I. Nice. So, so am I. I. Yeah, I so am time. I. <laughs> yes. Okay, good. Thank you so much, Walter. Continue with number seven. Okay. <clears throat> este, Glenda Yamilet Ramos Guerrero. Hello. Okay. I'm <laughs> tired. Okay, I'm tired of fast food. I am too. Oh, so okay. am I. Very good. Glenda, continue with number eight and select someone else. Sería para Dalia. Seven. No, eight. Eight. I don't enjoy rich food very much. I don't either. Good, Dalia. Continue with number nine. 
Alfredo Antonio Abarca Rosa. Hi. <laughs> That's a trend now. <laughs> I always eat healthy food. So am I. So am I. Mm. No. <laughs> Acuérdense que cuando no es con verbo to be, cuando no es am, is, are, contestamos con el auxiliar do, o does, or don't. Entonces, ¿cómo quedaría el 9, Alfredo? Eh, pero, es posible, pero así no es negativo, teacher. No, no es negativo. Tiene que ser afirmativa el agreement, pero sin so, el verbo. So do to... I. So do I. Excellent. Very good. You got it. Now, Alfredo, continue with number 10. I can't eat bland food. Reina. Ya pasó Reina. Ya. Yeah. Busquemos alguien más aquí entonces. Yeah, we got me. Uh... Diomesis. Uh -huh. Diomesis. I can't eat bland food. Oh, maybe she's not there. We have Ibis, Marta, Griselda. Ah, aquí está, teacher. Ibis, Ibis <laughs> Mendes. I can eat bland food. I can either. Okay, good. I can't either. Okay, I see that you did a, a very, very good job with this topic. So, ah. Teacher, I have a question. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, go ahead. I have a question. In number three, I think Mexican food is so is delicious. I can I can um, ask is no responder. Answer or uh, yeah answer. or reply. I I can answer in negative. Uh uh, yes, you can do that. Estamos, um, sí, la práctica ahorita es como para mostrar de acuerdo, ¿verdad? Estamos de acuerdo o compartimos la misma opinión de lo que se nos está diciendo. Pero claro, en una conversación normal puede ser que alguien me diga, I think Mexican food is delicious, pero yo no. O, o yo le diga, ok, uh, um, I can't stand uh, Mexican food. What do you like about it? Yo le podría decir, yo no la soporto. ¿Qué es lo que te gusta de ella? Ya. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. La práctica okay. es como estar de acuerdo, ¿verdad? Coincidir en, en, en como el, 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 lo que lo estamos hablando, el contexto es comidas y eso. Mm -hmm. eh, mostrar acuerdo. Pero claro, usted puede ver que le están diciendo... Yo puedo comer todo tipo de comida. Usted me puede decir eso, pero yo no. Yo no como mollejas de pollo y cosas así, ¿verdad? Entonces, sí. so, no necesariamente voy a decir toda la vida, ay, yo también, ¿verdad? So, puede haber una diferencia y eso ya se expresa de otra manera. Uh -huh. Ok, thank you. So you can say, really? Uh, de, en serio, yo no puedo comer tal cosa, vea. Entonces ya es. Um, un contrast. Mm -hmm. okay. Any other question? Eh, Ticha, estas preguntas pueden ser positivas o negativas porque a, a mí me puede gustar ¿verdad? alguna comida, pero otras no. ¿verdad? Puedo decir, hay no hater o puedo decir, hay do tú. O sea, no, no, en la respuesta, si son afirmativas o negativas, en su momento oportuno las tengo que mencionar porque eso ya depende ya de uno. Si me gusta o no me gusta. Ajá. No sé si es así. Sí. Ah, lo que decíamos con la compañera Elena. Ahora iba a variar, ¿verdad? No necesariamente toda la vida vamos a estar de acuerdo. Puede haber variación en las opiniones. Ve ahí, ahí ya responderíamos de otra manera. Tichero. En en the en the en the same case, case number three. I think Mexican food is delicious. I can use, uh, I agree with you. Yes, you can say that I agree with you. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. That is correct. Or you can say, I don't think so. Or I disagree. Puede decirlo. Yo estoy de, I agree with you. Estoy de acuerdo contigo. That's oh, completely oh, valid. Oh. Oh, for me, I don't, I don't, I don't like it. Uh huh. Yeah. Yes, you can say that. You can answer that as well. Okay. Thank you. Uh mm -hmm. It's very good question. Son preguntas muy buenas. Eh, acuérdense que el, 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 esto es como un contenido gramatical, pero um, había alguien que siempre nos decía. Eh, English is without a book. El inglés es sin libro. Ok, Exacto. so estamos aprendiendo el contenido gramatical y todo, pero en la vida real no va a andar con el libro. Ay, como se contestaba aquí, <risa> yes. Sino que pues es sin libro. Y por eso se, son las preguntas que ustedes están haciendo son excelentes y muy válidas. Y está bien que lo aclaren porque como les repito, English is without a book. En la vida real, pues, no siempre se va a pegar así. Pero como contenido gramatical, estamos aprendiendo a cómo contestar, mostrando que estamos de acuerdo con lo que se nos ha mencionado. Pero claro, puede ser que ya en contexto de la vida real usted esté en desacuerdo, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, eh, si alguien me dice de la comida mexicana, realmente para mí me destruye, me muero, es muy picante, eso no puedo estar de acuerdo en eso, ya si lo aplicamos en la vida real, de ¿verdad? So that's completely valid. Any other question or comment? Mm. Okay, if there are no more questions, we can continue with pronunciation, stress in responses. ¿A dónde estará el estrés cuando respondamos eh, en este, en showing agreement with this? We're going to listen the audio from the platform and then we're going to go back here. Uh, let's see. Here it is. Go oh, with pronunciation. That's kind of a slow, but it's still we're good to go here. Mm -hmm. Make this bigger. Share ready hi nice to see you again in this class we will practice pronunciation noticing stress in responses we will learn to sound natural when responding with so to neither and either notice how the last word of each response is stressed I do too I am too I can too so do I. So am I. So can I. I don't either. I'm not either. I can't either. Neither do I. Neither am I. Neither can I. Okay, and here we have what you just listened in the platform. So the stress is uh, in the last word. Okay, so in this one, it's kind of simple because it's a, a one syllable word. But in the case of, uh, en estas es una sola sílaba, entonces es fácil identificar o hacer el estrés en la última palabra porque es solo una sílaba, to, I, but in the case of either, son dos sílabas, esa palabra either. Y el estrés va a estar en la primera sílaba, e. either. Ahí vamos a hacer la fuerza de either. Uh, either. So, yes. And in this one, it's quite simple, but we can go ahead and wait and practice. Let's repeat. I do too. I do too. I do too. I, do too. I am too. I am too. I am too. I can too. I can't, I can't too. too. So I can't do I. Too. 
So do I. I. So am I. So am I. So am I. So can I. So am I. So can I. I don't either. I don't either. I'm not either. I'm not either. I can't either. I can't either. I can't either. Neither do I. Neither do I. Neither do I. Neither am I. Neither am I. Neither can I. Neither can I. Neither can I. Okay, questions about this? Okay, so um, now before we continue, is there any exercise that is pending for you to solve or that you would like to, um, for us to answer or together? No? Sure. Yes? What does, what does mean stress? Stress, and cuando hablamos de pronunciación, el estrés es a donde se hace una fuerza de voz, donde levantamos el tono de la voz. Eh, en español lo conocemos como acento, pero esta o tal cosa no existe en inglés. Entonces, ah, okay. el estrés se refiere a eso, a esta fuercecita. Y el estrés en esto, cartelitos que mostramos acá, está representado por esta bolita. Donde vea la bolita es donde va a subir la fuerza de voz. Por ejemplo, aquí, okay. I do too. Aquí, so do I. I don't either. Uh -huh. And that is the stress. Okay, thank you. You're more than welcome. Any other question? We are about to finish no the section three. So remember that it is important to have the platform completed at least at, until the midterm exam. Lo mínimo requerido ya para estas alturas de, de nuestro curso es estar hasta la sección 3 y el midterm exam completos. Eh, les comentaba que eh, reporté el problema con la ayuda de las eh, fotos, las capturas que mandó el compañero ayer. Me sirvieron mucho porque las compartí en el grupo que tenemos eh, con administración y todos los facilitadores. Eh, al principio me dijo, ah, no, pero viendo la fotito de las barritas, le falta el, el, el examen final, por eso le muestra solo el 60. Entonces le dije, eh, tengo la captura de la principio y ahí todo salía con chequecito verde, incluso el final exam. And that is, uh, solo que me dijeron que es como un glitch, que en la plataforma está dando ese, ese como error y que lo iban a reportar al proveedor para que lo arreglen a la brevedad posible. Lo que les quiero decir con esto, que ya ellos están sabedores de la situación y aunque, bueno, ustedes saben si ya completaron, ya llegaron a más del 80%, aunque no se refleje por el momento por este problema, pero si ya lo hicieron, igual llenen los papeles y entreguenlos a tiempo para que no se vayan a quedar fuera. Y si no, pues avancen lo más que puedan. Esta semana llegamos hasta el jueves. Eh, si Dios permite, ¿verdad? Va a ser el último día de clases y luego tenemos la August Break, la vacación uh -huh. de agosto y nos vemos hasta el lunes 9 de agosto. Entonces oh van a God. tener una semana que la pueden aprovechar para terminarse la plataforma y aunque estén de vacaciones pueden escribir, pueden pedir ayuda por algún ejercicio que, que se les esté haciendo difícil solventar. Eh, la sección 3 la vamos a terminar uh, mañana y probablemente empecemos la sección 4 ya para el jueves. Quisiera saber cómo sienten que vamos hasta ahorita, si vamos muy rápido, si hay algún tema que no les haya quedado claro o alguna sugerencia de qué podemos hacer. Teacher. Sí, Luis. Este, a mí no me han enviado correo ni nada para llenar papeles. Y, um, para entregar la documentación. Ah, ok. Um, pero si ¿sí alguien de aquí ya del grupo ya les llegaron esos papeles. Sí, sí, teacher. A mí sí, teacher. ¿Cuándo se los enviaron? Yo WhatsApp. So do I, teacher. Eh, por WhatsApp lo están haciendo individualmente. Yes. Uh -huh. 
Ok, entonces sería de que escriba, um, bueno, y primero intente con ya sea Jimmy, Jason, Davis, si ellos no le contestan, entonces váyase con mi Selena, y si no, llámeles por teléfono, porque puede ser que se les haya pasado por alto entre tanta gente. Entonces, okay. sí, hay que, y si no le contestan, a, llámeles, porque sí, ya están, ellos tienen una fecha límite para eso. Ok, gracias. Ok. ¿Y eh, los demás? ¿Algo? El 29 de julio tenemos como fecha límite. Sí, 9 de julio. ¿El jueves? 29 de julio. Ajá. Sí, pasado mañana, ¿verdad? Sí. Ok, entonces hay que andarle rapidito ahí, Ibis. Para que no se vaya a quedar fuera. Uh, ok, so any other comment, something that you would like to add before we leave? Or we are okay so far? I will take that as a yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, thank you so much for joining today's session. I know that you are tired, so I'm not going to take more of your time. See you tomorrow. Thank you for um, joining the sections. Remember that it's two days more and then you're going to have vacation. So make the effort, okay? See you tomorrow. See, See you tomorrow. Tomorrow. Thank tomorrow. you. Good night, teacher. Good night, everybody. Tomorrow. Take care. Good night. Have a nice rest. Thank you.